Hi, my name is Jack Rago, and I'm the principal timpanist of the Omaha Symphony Orchestra. I'm here to talk to you about the instruments of the percussion family. But first we should talk about what a percussion instrument is. It is any instrument that you can strike, shake, or scrape. This gives us a huge range of instruments that can create a wide spectrum of different sounds. But for now, we're just going to group them into two different categories, pitched and non-pitched. A pitched instrument can play a lot of different notes or pitches, like the xylophone, marimba, bells, and a non-pitched instrument plays a more rhythmic role, like a snare drum, tambourine, or bass drum. Now one of my favorite parts about playing percussion is that almost all music styles use some form of percussion, whether it's jazz, rock, or classical and also that every culture throughout the world has their own distinct and different version and instruments in the percussion family. So first we'll talk about the snare drum. Now the snare drum is usually a metal or a wooden uh, shell here with a head stretched over top of it. And it's got these snares on the bottom that give it the kind of crispy articulate attack. So it's one of the louder instruments in the orchestra, and it's used for really rhythmic, exciting, you know, a lot of marches. So it sounds something like this. Now, Unfortunately, I can't play the snare drum really loud in my apartment all day long or else my neighbors would get mad. So we have practice pads that we can keep our hands loose and warm to practice with. So we'll move on to the, one of the smaller instruments that we play. The triangle is a little metal piece of metal that is shaped into a, you can guess, triangle. It has a long sustain and it can do some rhythmic passages but not quite as many as the snare drum can. So. We've got different triangles also that are made from different types of metal and if you can see this one has like a bunch of grooves dented into it to create a, a different uh, sound so see if you can hear the difference here And now we'll try the tambourine here, which is sort of similar to the snare drum in the fact that it's a, a wooden shell with a head stretched uh, across the top of it. But it's a lot smaller, as you can see, and it's got these little wooden j or metal jingles, you can see those, which give it kind of a bright, vibrant sound. And we play it usually with our uh, holding in one hand and just hitting it with the other, so it sounds kind of like this. There's a couple other ways to play it. You can roll like that, or you can get a different kind of sounding roll by just uh, scraping the top of it. And if you're playing some really fast rhythmic passages, you can actually uh, bring your knee up here and go back and forth between your knee and your hand. This is a fun instrument. It's used a lot for like dance movements and, and classical music. And then we'll take a look at the cymbals here, which are one of the louder instruments in the orchestra. As you can see, it's just two big pieces of metal that are sh machined or done by hand with little straps and then you hold them together. And it's used for really big dramatic moments or really harsh accents or attacks in the orchestra. And it sounds kind of like this.
but you can also play them pretty soft too. Which creates a very different effect. And one other way we can do it is we can attach it to a stand and have it hang like this. We call this a suspended cymbal. And I'll just demonstrate it real quickly here. So when you let it hang like this, it creates a much different sound. You can roll and make these long crescendos. And lastly, we'll talk about the xylophone here, which is one of our pitched percussion instruments. It's actually arranged the same way as a piano. So these are like the white keys, and these are the black keys. Uh, the main difference being that we don't use our fingers to play. We use these mallets here, which can be made of rubber or plastic or wood to give us some different sounds. And that it's also made of wood here. We can use all these different pitches to play melodies along with other people in the orchestra, which is something we often do on this instrument. But we can practice things like major scales, or arpeggios. And as you can see, it has a pretty short and clear articulation. Uh, but one of my personal favorite things to do is play ragtime music on the xylophone. I hope you learned something, and have a good day. Thanks.